What's up guys, and welcome to Forgato and Friends. I'm really enjoying this title. It's a title that's currently on Greenlight and a number of other services that will be in the link in the description, but it is a side-scrolling platforming game that really brings me back to those old-school Game Boy type games, I guess you could say. Let's go into the game I have loaded here, and we'll just play that for a bit as I talk about the game. Now this is something I'm totally planning on doing a playthrough of at some point in time. I don't know, it just feels like it's worthy of a playthrough, and I'm I'm sure I'll stream it at some point, and that's how I'm gonna do it. But one thing you might notice right off the bat is the amazing sprite work. You don't usually see sprite work like this every day. Ooh, a general store. Cool. No, I actually do not want to buy anything from the store. We'll check that out later. I mean, I haven't played super into it. I've played a good hour or so, and I really enjoy it so far. It's the gameplay, sort of like, I feel like it combines sort of like Kirby and like Yoshi's, or Super Mario World 2, whatever it is, Yoshi's Island. And where's this going to bring me? Oh yeah, this is a little teleport spot. If I want to go back to the beginning or something. I'm going to actually, how about I go back here? I don't want to run into too much dialogue, so I'm just going to play some stuff I've already played. But you can just see some of the crazy detailed sprites here, and it's really a charm to look at. With this and the music, you might actually just get a lot of atmospheric taste. Oh yeah, these are some of these. You can, uh... I don't know how. I think you just lick the water enough. There you go, and I'll give you all your health back. That's quite fabulous, ain't it? And you know, you're supposed to adventure and collect things. Maybe since I've killed everything around here, it won't respawn. Up oh, here we go, here's some enemies. And the music's great too. But I feel like this is the game. This is that playground game, you know. The kid over there is playing Kirby, the kid over there is playing Mario Land, and you know, you guys are all arguing over what game is the best, and then you pull out this out of your pocket and go, well I got the new game for Gato, and this is the coolest game on the playground, and you show it to them, and they're like, whoa, look at the graphics. It's 18-bit. I don't know, I just feel like that's this kind of game. It just brings you back to those types of roots. And it has uh, this nice style to it. You know, the gameplay itself is very classic style. And also the comedy to it. There's a bit of dialogue here and there, and it's, it's pretty enjoyable. None of it really seems, like, excessive or annoying at all. It's all pretty fun, and it all has some pretty decent uh, character development. Oh, let's get this guy. Ah. Oh. So in the top left, you might see that I got a, quite a few numbers and meters. Now, of course, the hearts are the health, and you do get health upgrades throughout time. And that's something that's cool. There's a good feeling of progression. You have different power-ups you can get in this game. You have different amount of uh, health you can get in this game. There is definitely a sense of progression. And of course, you also got the average level progression. There's different environments we could adventure as we get farther into the game. A lot of really good sense of progression, and I feel like that's a very rewarding factor of games like this, so it's great that it has them. Now, you might be able to see some other meters we have up on the top. We also can choose our power-up. I only have one other power-up as of right now, and that's to breathe fire. And you can see that that one actually takes up some of the energy bar, and I only have so much of that to use. Oh jeez, and not getting hit is not one of them. There you go. But the tongue I always have unlimited use of, so I really want to use that to my best ability. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, so close. There you go. And they'll drop the blue stuff, which will give me more energy to use my other power-ups. Can I hop down here? You bet I can. Okay, then. Then down, you know, I can swim around too. I feel like, I don't know why, I get a really big Kirby feel from especially the swimming. I think it's, I don't know. It's like Kirby, but you can't really take power-ups, you're just still Forgato. But you do get different powers over time, though. I don't know. It, it really is its original thing, and I really like that. That they can revitalize something as old as a side-scrolling platforming, which is what most gamers started playing games on. We also have a sense of money, as we saw in the beginning of the video, we ran into a, uh, a nice little shop, which I'll have to check out. I haven't checked that out myself yet. Besides that, I think we have a point system. I'm not really I haven't been really cleared up on what the numbers next to the money is. But from what I've seen, it's just a point system. Maybe I'll have a chance to spend my points, or maybe it's just bragging rights. You know, I can go back to those kids on the playground and say, Hey, I have 20 million points. What are you at, chump? Only 12? Ha ha. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is a little kind of thing. Let me, uh, kill these people with bubbles, because, you know, that's a thing I can do. 
And there's even a little bit of side quests. I was um playing and I met this guy in this uh, house and he's like, give me a golden beetle for my collection. And I wonder if that's sort of part of the storyline or if that's just a side quest. Because if this has quests, then it's a lot more like Toomba than I thought. And if you haven't played Toomba before, look it up. It's a really cool old school PS1 game. That's basically like a, a really good mixture between RPG and platforming. And I really like that game. And I'd really like to see something rehashing that a bit. And, you know, this has come pretty close. But, you know, this is still remains to be its own original thing at the same time. While hitting it so close to other good aspects of different platformers, it still keeps it close to its own ties. And I really like that. Alright, let's climb up here. Some of the enemies are actually really difficult to get by, though. This really isn't the easiest game in the world, but that's not a problem. Sometimes games just need ruthless difficulty. I'm also not the best in the world at this. I mean, usually I'm better at faster-paced platformers. Um, I want to say this one's a fast-paced platformer. Um, like, jump timing. Like, like you know, there's a bit, there's sort of like an allotted time box as to how how much I can jump, like if I spam I'm not gonna jump like crazy, you can see there's a little bit like of a time box between I can jump again. And it's just like an overall slower paced platformer. I mean there's different like ones that have different speeds, like I feel like Mario and um, Rayman Origins and Super Meat Boy, I, I say that Rayman and Mario are about medium paced when it comes to how fast they are, and Super Meat Boy is a fast paced platformer, while this is a little more slow and charming pace. None of them are bad, none of them are particularly good, they're all just different in their own rights. And this one is slower. And that's sort of like, enjoyous, because it's like, there's so many more aspects to see in this game than just the platforming. We have these amazingly detailed worlds, and I really like just, sometimes I just stop and stare, you know? And it's really worth it. Also, the character in the world that we're in, that we're subjected to, is really nice. Not only the environments, but the characters are just different. Like, I mean, we're playing a frog, and that's why his name is Frogato, but he has like a, like an alligator mouth. <laughs> I don't know, just like the design of the characters is really nice, really charming. This is like something I'd show to a younger kid and see if they'd enjoy it, for sure. Without a doubt. But this is definitely something I'd stream sometime. These are the kind of games that I get into all the time. Rayman Legends, Super Mario Brothers, these are really my forte of games. Now right, let's go and get this. But like I said earlier, this is on Steam Greenlight, so if you really want an out, you know, an output to get this somewhere to get this, um, that's you know, easy to store games, and you're already used to Steam, you might want to go and upload it there. Chapel's General Store. So let's check out the General Store. I'm actually curious to see what this is. So is this a just an extra bit of heart? Or the heart will give you an extra health point. Okay, I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's awesome. The tongue extender will. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll get that too. And what is this? Wow. Okay. Wow, these are all really cool and really helpful. Okay, I'm glad I've collected as much money as I could. Wait, how much is this one? 420. Holy dumb. Okay, I can't get that. Hi, Chapel. Hey, welcome to the store. Take your time and look around. And look at the character design on this! Like, this is like a plant person, but he, they just look so cool. And you get this sort of like nice, charming RPG feel. Ooh, what is this? I guess this will give me like... <laughs> cool. That's a good exchange. One coin per health. That's nice. Wow, they're really fair with that. I like that. See, so it's like oh, running around. It's really rewarding. It's like I feel completely rewarded to the fact that I... um have ran around and adventured as much as I could. And here we have a bird. Glad I caught you. You'd better be aware of this. The cave that leads into town has a sentry posted in it. Milgram's trying to seal off the town so no one gets in or out. That might have been why he tried to take out that bridge. If you're thinking to go in there, you might reconsider. Well, yeah, I was gonna go in there. I mean, what are we gonna do, sit on our butts here? No, no but I was hoping we'd go in in force. Against Milgram, really? I mean, on paper, that sounds like a good enough plan, but I'm gonna be a jerk here and poke some holes in it. See, I just love that character style. This guy's not really a pessimist, he's more of a realist, but it's still charming. Fair enough, I'm not particularly fond of it myself. Firstly, Milgram's got lots of followers, tons of them. 
He runs an entire city. I mean, even if we armed the whole town, they'd be grossly outnumbering us. Plus, they're pretty mobile too, planes and such. We might get to the top of them for on them for a bit, but we'd get surrounded in no time. Brute force against brute force won't work. We'd be like a bull butting heads with a freight train. Oh yes, dear. I see what you mean. Yes, I got... There's got to be something we can use to our advantage. But numerical superiority isn't it. Anyways, about the cave ahead. It's just one guy, right? To my knowledge, yes. Maybe I can talk my way around them. Worst comes to worst, I could just run for it, right? I hope so, good luck. I don't know, it's, just, it's like you don't see that too much. It's like, usually you have a silent or a very thick-headed protagonist, but you don't see that here. You sort of see this guy with a head on his shoulders. A frog head, to be exact. Let's go and get these coins. Okay, let's go into the cave then. Let's see what's up. There's also a really, really in-depth level creator. And I do believe this game is open source. I mean, if you don't know what that is, you might want to Google it, because it's sort of hard to explain here. What the? You? You're an intruder, aren't you? Oh. There's no fooling me. You look like a very suspicious character. You could just step aside. I need to take care of something in town. Well, I can't let anyone pass this gate. Without the key, you're not getting anywhere. Okay, will you please lend me that key? No way! Over my dead body. We can do that. Ooh, I'm gonna beat him up! I'm gonna beat him up! Ready for the- oh. Oh, okay, for a second I, I thought I got him. Here, kill him. There you go. This is actually our second boss fight in the game, and this one actually is pretty cool. They've been really... The game hasn't been all that hard so far, but it looks like it's starting to pick up. Ready to go. Come on, buddy. There you are. Whoa, what does he have now? Is that a gun or is that a camera? I don't know, though, but I got rid of him. Victory! Get the key. How do I pick up the key? Nope. There you go. Also, the burping sound effects? Great A. I mean, if there's anyone who knows anything about burping, it's this guy. And there you go, Crevice Village. Hey, over here. Ah, good, you made it through there in one piece. Yeah, those goons had a little ambush set up. So now what? Well, as you know, the town is split into two halves. Milgram has his this half of the town locked down tight, and he has most of the residents held prisoner. They're tied up inside the houses under guard. If you free them, I'm sure they can help you. Makes sense. Your big problem will be that the gate connecting the two halves of the town has been locked, and I don't think there's a guard next to it whom you can steal the key from. In fact, you do I don't think there is a key. I think that door might be machine controlled. I don't know where the controls would be though. I'm not from here and after all, asking one of the prisoners is probably our best bet for a clue. Okay, wow, look at this building guys. Holy crap, the detail. It's overwhelming for, I don't know, just a side-scrolling platformer. It's great, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm going to play some more of it, but I'm going to keep the video off of that. If you if you guys enjoyed the game, I'll put the link up where you can purchase it and play it and enjoy it. And I'll also link the Steam Greenlight. So if you do enjoy the game, upload it so it gets on Steam and you can buy it there too. With that being said, this has been Zebra. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.